Hi everyone, the Spider Man here. Well, as the title says, I'm going to be doing an update and a feeding on my um, giant spiny assassin bug. It's this one here that uh, badly mounted four days ago. I can't believe it's been four days, it's gone so quickly. So, yeah, let's just um, take the enclosure off the shelf, take the lid off, and uh, let's see if it's okay. And there you go, everyone. There is the assassin bug doing perfectly fine, and it actually has actually got six legs, as you can see. I thought it actually had five, but um, yeah, it's doing perfectly fine. As I said, I can't believe it's been four days. It's uh, gone so quickly, and you can just see its wings that are all deformed. And um, yeah, it's been walking around perfectly fine. It's been drinking its water as well. So like I said, it's been four days, so I'm going to give it a, try and give it a feed today. It should eat, but um, if it don't, then not to worry. I can try it tomorrow or uh, on Thursday. So let's get a roach and uh, let's see if it's hungry. So everyone, here goes. I'm just going to tongue feed it, see if it's hungry. I didn't really want to let the roach go in the enclosure just in case it goes under the cork bark and I didn't really want to stress the uh, the assassin bug out too much. So there, there we go everyone. It's eating its meal perfectly fine. And that robustum, which is the uh, needle, has uh, pierced its prey perfectly fine. I think the roach is the roach is trying to get away, and it actually has got away. So I'll just uh, pick up the roach and uh, give it back to the uh, assassin bug. So everyone, second time lucky, let's see if it'll take it down again. It's having a little bit of trouble. So you can see the leg on the left hand side, this one here, it's a little bit deformed. But um, all the rest don't look too bad. It's just mainly its wings that are deformed. And um, I've been told that um, they do actually fly, but not very good. They're not the best flyers in the world, but... Um, looks like it's... No, it hasn't pierced its prey just yet. So hopefully, yeah, it's having a little bit of trouble trying to grab its prey. Sorry. Yeah, it's having a little bit of trouble. You can see the roach has uh, gone again, but I'll, I'll get it back. So let's try again, third time lucky. Okay. It's having, it's having a bit of trouble grasping its meal. Yeah, it's definitely hungry, but you can see that, as I said, you can see that deformed leg. What I might do is, everyone, I'll take the cork bark out. And um, take the um, assassin bug off the court bark. 
Well, you can see the roach just there. Let's just quickly just give it a touch if it might. Uh, no. I'll take the cork bark out, everyone, and uh, let's try and feed the assassin bug on the actual substrate. So let's just carefully just move the assassin bug away from the cork bark if I can. And let's just try and get the. Oh, it's saying hello, look. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Let's just try and get the assassin bug to come off the court bark. There we go. And let's just get the court bark out of there. And the water dish as well. And uh, let's just put the uh, the roach back in as well. So everyone, let's just try again. No. Oh well, it was worth a try anyway, everyone. But like I said, it's um, I'll leave it until tomorrow or th I'll probably leave it until Thursday to give it another couple of days to recover from its molt. And um, thanks for watching, everyone.